Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the 2010 SCR EULAR diagnostic criteria that is used for the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. So this is the new 2010 SCR EULAR diagnostic criteria. This enables identification of early disease. It consists of four categories of factors shown to predict severe disease. So what is the criterion category? The first thing is joint involvement. So basically it refers to the number of joints involved. B. Serology. At least one test result is needed for classification. C. Acute phase reactants. At least one test result is needed for classification. And D. Duration of symptoms. So under joint involvement, if one large joint is involved, then the score is zero. 2 to 10 large joints involvement gives 1 point, 1 to 3 small joints with or without involvement of large joints gives you a score of 2. 4 to 10 small joints with or without involvement of large joints gives you a score of 3. Greater than 10 joints involvement including at least one small joint gives you 5 points. Then B serology at least one test result is needed for classification. Negative rheumatoid factor and negative ACPA gives you a score of 0. Low positive rheumatoid factor or low positive ACPA gives you a score of 2. High positive rheumatoid factor or high positive ACPA gives you a score of 3. Then our third criterion category is acute phase reactants. At least one test result is needed for classification. Normal C-reactive protein and normal erythrocyte sedimentation rate gives you a score of 0. Abnormal C-reactive protein or raised erythrocyte sedimentation rate gives you a score of 1. And then our fourth category was duration of symptoms. If the duration of symptoms have been less than 6 weeks, then you get a score of 0. If they have been greater than or equal to 6 weeks, you get a score of 1. So basically when we say large joints, what are we talking about? Large joints refer to shoulder, elbows, hips, knees, and ankles, while the small joints refer to the metacarpophalangeal joints, proximal interphalangeal joints, second to fifth metatarsophalangeal joints, thumb interphalangeal joints, and wrists. ACPA is, is basically anti-citrullinated protein antibody. CRP is C-reactive protein, and ESR is erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So that's all about the diagnostic criteria for rheumatoid arthritis. And yeah, so when you add the scores of categories A to D, if the score is greater than or equal to 6 over 10, it is needed for classification of a patient as having definite rheumatoid arthritis. So if you count these scores and then your patient has, gets more than 6 points or even 6 points. So that's the diagnosis. So we can tell that they have definite rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.